Hey guys, uh, same Mac back, about to do the continue our uh, challenge run. Just a quick reminder of what our kind of rules are. Uh, we're playing on True Zenoian difficulty. We're not using any unique classes um, or classes that we get before we can recruit generics of. Um, no unique weapons. And that kind of means anything that you can't buy like two or more of from uh, vendors and that's exclusively gold vendors like if you can get it from the divine shop and stuff uh, we're not going to use it um, until unless we can get it from vendors later uh, at least like once we can get it, <laughs> once we can get it from gold vendors uh, no changing equipment mid battle um, unless we're at a deployment point and we're not going to over level uh, we're going to do all the battles in order and uh, the the battles must be like full clear. It's like we need to capture every deployment zone before we do the final deployment zone. So we can't like kind of just cheese through it. And uh, we're not going to do like merc spam, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. So the goal is just kind of learn the classes a bit better. Because I, I feel like when I when I played through the first time, you just kind of made a unit that could kill everything and kind of shored up its weaknesses with equipment, which is like fine. That's... What you're supposed to do, really, but uh, I figure this playthrough kind of only give only give people stat sticks for for equipment and stuff, and try to really make sure we're learning what uh, what units beat other units and building strong squads and that kind of stuff. So um, I think this is going to be our hardest mission, uh, at least for the first little while. Uh, I just remember this being difficulty difficult, even without like any kind of rules in place so um this is what we kind of had going into this mission i'm just wondering if we need to switch it up at all uh like possibly here's, here's what i'm thinking possibly the flying unit give either lex or the hoplite to it to protect the flyer Hoplites, hoplites can guard range attacks, right? Heavy cover. Yeah, an ally is attacked. What's any kind of attack? Let's try that. Let's let's swap uh swap these two guys. I don't think this is gonna be that strong of a unit, but um let's try this out and see what happens. Alright, we can uh, deploy all of them. So yeah, we're not using the land, we're not using Joseph. Do we have anyone else? I don't think we have anyone else right now really that unlocked that we, we could be using, but. And we're gonna try to be smart about how we, uh, how we play this. One second, actually, who do we want to, as the leader down here? Reduce wait time, or break barriers, none of those, or break barriers. Okay, reduce wait time it is, I guess. All right, so let's see. So if we send, what are we doing? what's uh, Caroline, our, our Griffin Rider, against these guys, it's about even. It's not a great trade. I was gonna try not to use Aquilis's unit either. I don't know. She can wipe that first unit. I don't know, is it, I don't think it's like cheese to use a unit that's on the map with you, but let's try not to use her first. We'll, just, we'll have her on defense to start and we'll see what we can do here. We'll, we'll take out the first, uh, first guy pop, hopefully. We'll see what happens. And like, Obviously, in the no cheese, we're not gonna like save scum or anything, but I'm not against like failing a mission and restarting it. But yeah, he does look pretty slow with that hoplite in the unit. Um, all right, we're just gonna hang out outside of uh, range assist from that tower. And, yeah. Slowly take out these. Uh, these thieves coming in. Uh-oh. That's not good. It'll be over in a sec. 
that sucks. Uh, so that's not what we want to be. We do not want him to get kicked back into, into that rage there. What I'm really worried about is uh, Caroline's going to be too slow to get to that watchtower before the uh, the arrow rain goes off. And the arrow rain will just decimate us. But how are we looking so far? Are we still going to get there? Okay, we're still going to win that fight. Um, Alright, let's keep going. This guy's running back. Why is that, that guy running back again? Is that just for fun? Let's get, uh, actually, Oclise is going to go grab this treasure, because otherwise we have to waste someone to go get it. And, okay, Clive can finish him off. And, actually, Chloe can finish off and then heal up. So let's do that. And we're going to start pushing in, at least this far. Ooh, if she gets there before the, uh, the first strike. Uh-oh, we're not going to finish him off, so he might still get the air rain off. That would be good. The air rain will wreck us if it gets off. Okay, actually, air rain resets a few attacks. I didn't know that. Okay, that's good. Good to know. We got the first strike off, so we're looking good. So after this battle, I think oh, we didn't actually <laughs> we didn't have to kill him. Um, we're gonna be down to zero stamina anyway. I was gonna say we're gonna send him back to, uh, to heal up, but uh, we're gonna have to rest. So. Your orders, sir. It'll be over in a sec. All right. Yeah, looks like I got a work message over here. Germany All right. So we'll rest up. And these guys will wait outside of arrow range here. It's just gonna wreck these early soldier units. He's pretty good for that. All right, now that we have extra valor, what are we, what are we, vitalize gonna be possibly useful later on? <laughs> we don't have the upgraded one, so that's not as good. But uh, toughness isn't bad. It's only one battle. Toughness is kind of worth the save as the vitalize, is because it's one. Uh, basically, saves you one stamina. Provoke can be useful. Actually, yeah, who can we provoke from here? Let's provoke that, uh, that other archer out. What shall I do? Let's, uh, I definitely completely underutilize uh, Valor skills in general. But now that we have like less units and stuff, um, we're gonna get a lot more use out of them, so that'll be nice. Victory. All right. So yeah, we don't have to worry about the assistance fire anymore. All right, here comes the guy. Oh, they're they're right on top of the place. Oops. Wow. That wasn't really uh, didn't really mean to have it go that way, but it's fine, I guess. That's interesting that they didn't plunder yet. I take to the skies. Um, I'm just realizing that I have Clive kind of go in the wrong direction. I'd rather have Clive. Uh, May the Father watch over us. Witness the might of an angel. We'll get that, and then we'll, we'll finish this guy off. Um, let's have Clive finish it off. I guess there's two archers. This doesn't really matter. What's he? Oh yeah, he also has provoke. Anyway, I guess we'll get, we'll get the non-provoked archer and then. Uh, Ooh, 25 damage. 
that uh, yeah, that's not good. That's Shav is getting taken out there. Does that have the better move than? Okay, well, let's do that. I guess. All right, we're looking okay. We're gonna have to heal up a bit with the garrison, but. Clive's getting pretty high level here. has to heal up here. One thing I'm curious about, if you, uh, like I've never tried it, if you just leave your base undefended, do they just capture your base with the y'all guys? Kind of interested in that. Did you just spawn a unit? Can they, sp where did that guy, where did that guy come from? Did you spawn a unit while you're supposed to be taunting? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Bruno's doing work there with the uh, the front, the full front line AOE. That's not a not a very good formation for those guys. Now let's grab that and then we'll go down here and we'll heal up. We'll stay, save the stamina this way. Alright, so. Let's go in here. Garrison. We're not going to rest with Clive yet. Because we want we're gonna, we want to swap him into the garrison. Unit, if we can. Not quite. Getting a lot of valor, which we should be starting to use here. Oh, yeah. Vitalize life aid. Love plunder. What are we doing? Oh, I forgot to double check. Uh, I didn't apply the patch properly. And so we, we still have the two Valor um, Wild Rushes. We'll try not to use those because it's not really legal after the, the 1.1 update or whatever. Alright. There we go. So this is, this is kind of a good trick where you can swap onto the garrison and then he'll uh, heal up and get stamina without having to rest. Um, okay. Yeah, sometimes... I'll swap the leader here to get like the shield, uh, like a shield leader and get those benefits going in here. Um, I don't know if it makes sense right now to reduce the assist damage. Let's see. We're just going to go for it for now. We can attack this guy before this other archer spawns. Ooh, she's getting wrecked. That's not good. Um, wow, yeah, the double uh, double assist is huge. What can we do here to turn that tide? All right, let's let's use our fairy a fairy charm here. Uh, 
retreat back here for a minute too. I don't think we can take him on again. We don't have any more fairy charms. So we're gonna need to wait for, uh, like I was talking about, one of those shield units to come in. And but we're also gonna have to wait for this archer unit to go by too. Uh, I didn't really mean for that to happen. All right, so. He's doing a little trick here. We're gonna re we're gonna retreat him and put him back here so he can heal up as well. Please, we'll send back here. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna save. Uh, uh, one thing. I always screw up too. So as soon as you swap off, it like resets the heal, even if you like switch back to the way it was. So we kind of screwed up our heal there. So we might as well just let him go, and then we'll uh, switch him back in. But um, yeah, see this this is the hardest part of this level for sure. And actually, what we need to do is. I think we can taunt this guy th over. Um, we just need to bring Lex back over. So we'll do that in a second once, once they've healed up one more time. Okay, let's withdraw. And then we will deploy into the woods here. And we will provoke this guy over. Waste Clive's stamina. It'll be over in a I did the kind of thing where I screwed up and I swapped him out of healing. No Alright, let's do this. Okay, there's a lot of assists happening right there, so we're just going to let them stay there for a second. Let's uh, go. Oh, oops. Let's go in here. I'm gonna make Lex the leader. I'm gonna deploy him back. And once he's full health, not full health, but once he. Uh, actually, we're gonna have to wait for this archer to come by now. Oh, why did this guy go back? He's still taunted. It's provoked for seven seconds, it says. Oh, because Lex left. Okay, I screwed that up. Um, shoot, I'm going to have to use another one. Alright, Lex, don't leave this time. Anyway, so obviously we don't want to screw up the, the stamina game Lex is about to get. What are we doing? I'm going. My outlook grows dimmer by the moment. I'm all set. This doesn't look good. Receive. Alright, we need to go heal her up. Standing down. Couldn't wait for this. Alright, this is fine. He's going to get one more tick, and then we're going to send him to take out that unit. And these guys heal up. And Chloe can heal up over here. Uh, 
position. We lost Travis, which is good. Man, we're running low on health on uh, time here. Let's finish off this guy. spawn hopefully this all right so now we've kind of got this we've almost got this beachhead um, when these two guys finish their one heal uh, round there then we're gonna we're gonna go for it um, can I rest with no I'm not gonna be able to rest with them, I don't think. You don't stand a chance. Hopefully we uh I've gotta stop for a few. Okay, we didn't get enough to get another valor point, so that's not ideal. Alright. We basically gotta go board now. Everyone's That's not good. That was a that was like a wipe. Um, all right, we're gonna pop a nut. I just want to sleep. Yes, sir. And man, that's a it's a tough looking battle. What can we do here to to help us out? Fortress, Jason right, Call. Vitalize life is. I don't know. Plunder. Okay, not much. Um, we got three more items. If we go revive, heal. See what happens here. Okay, that's a little bit better. This isn't gonna end well. We're not gonna win, but we're gonna interrupt the uh, let's put one more heal on Laxlin to see. Let's just do the damage we can. And then we will uh, just gonna move our approach here a little bit. Man, I'm surprised. Uh, I would have thought. Clive would be able to kind of wipe out that back line faster, but I guess uh, I guess those archers have quite a bit of health. Okay, let's go with that for now. All right, I think it's going to be basically Clive, the Clive show here. I'm swapping Clive in to get the kill, but. Let's use Chloe's uh, life aid. Uh, oh, because first strike. I was going to say, how, how are we doing any damage? Alright. So we're going to win that battle. So here's one thing. I'm not, I'm not sure about the TZ dif difficulty. I think as long as we don't get wiped, then we don't lose any guys. But, um... 
Okay, let's, let's, have, let's get the Griffin Squad to win the fight, because the one thing the Griffin's only level 2, so that's not good. I'm gonna level them up. Alright, there we go, pro level. 6 and 5 and 4. I know, 6 and 6 and 4, that's, that's a lot better. Alright. So let's see, do we actually lose people who are in us, who are KO'd, but uh, not in a wipe squad? Let's find out. If so, we'll redo that. I'm not sure how we'll uh, how we'll do better, but probably use uh, probably not waste our taunts and yeah, let's get this. Uh, let's set them free. We want to get them later. We'll uh, decline anyone who's uh, actually. I don't think you can decline anyone who's uh, who's unique, but. Alright, so let's see what happens now. She would prove a valuable asset. Right. Human such as Sharon, you're coming with us. Alright, and let's see. I'm not gonna buy anything from her, but we'll we'll uh, we'll chat. Sometimes uh, when you skip uh, some of those like uh, those dialogues, you get a black screen for a while. It's worried. I get worried. I've I've had to like uh, never come back from the black screen, which is pretty annoying when you have to reload. Um, oh yeah, what's uh, we didn't lose those guys, right? Okay, no, looks like we still have them. So only if you're full squad wipes do you lose the characters. So that's not that bad. And there is ways to get them back, I know. Um, uh, we have 20 honor. And we've got what? Who do, who do we have just kind of sitting in there? Uh, sitting not being used. Just Sharon? That we can use? Sharon, okay. So if we were going to put her on a team, we would need to hire at least one more person, I think. Uh, let's throw... Let's throw Sharon in with Bruno. Instead of Chloe. And then... Yeah, that makes, she makes a better leader as well. And then let's... Uh, who would be a good squad? Chloe and who? Actually, let's put Chloe with Rolf. Or no, not with Rolf. Swap with Rolf. And then she's healing up here a little bit. Can heal Hodrick. Um, and then... So then we have Rolf and someone else as a team. Who do we want? Who pairs well with a hunter? Two hunters? Just have them be an assist squad. I don't know if we have like enough units to have like a solely assist squad. If it's not gonna be a full assist squad, we need someone like fairly self-sufficient, like a thief maybe. Maybe we get another thief. Where's the highest level thief we can get? Oops. Soldier. Like right here. Level 2 thief. Okay. Let's go grab him, I guess. Alright. I think we said we were going to try to do full black on everyone. the best armor with black. Brass 2, brass 1, bronze, gold, star armor, black armor, sure. 
Right. Oh, shoot. I didn't set his uh, growth types. That was dumb. Um, that's a waste. I'm going to reload because uh, that's just a waste to not set his growth types properly. <laughs> Um, yeah, we hadn't really done anything since then. Sorry about that, guys. That was... she would prove the value you. All right, this will be quicker because we know the decisions we're going to make, right? That was faster that time. Didn't, uh... Stall out on me. Alright. And we get that. And we're going to I'll come back to that in a second. All the stuff. I have to start doing those, um, like the little skirmishes with the classes beside each fort to get some money. Um, what can we buy here now? Okay, nice. We can get, finally get like berets and. Brays and hoods and gauntlets and all the different little uh, kind of like secondary stat equipment. All right, so let's go back up here. We're going to ooh, what's this guy want to say? Uh, just the higher mercenary. All right, so we're going to hire a thief. Renard, very close to Renault. We're gonna do uh, Lucky, probably Lucky Lucky. Either Lucky Lucky or L Lucky Go Getter, I think. But let's do Lucky Lucky, because that's all his job really is to, uh, is to tank the front line, is to evade everything. All right, we'll come with us, Renard. So we got Renard. We're gonna expand our units. And we don't need to go to three yet. And we can't can't go to three anyway, so we don't have three guys. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do Renard and Sharon, and then we'll swap Sharon and Rolf. And then we'll swap Sharon and Chloe, and then we'll make Clive the unit leader, and we'll make Rolf the unit leader. Cool. Okay, that's uh, actually it for this video. I need to go do some work, but um, next time we'll jump on. Let's see, can we do the deliveries here yet? Next time we'll jump on. We'll get some of uh, that like, secondary gear, secondary stack gear I was just talking about from down here and um, oh, we can't do this delivery yet either yeah we got some of this stuff equipped on our guys so they're a little better and then we'll uh, take on the, the swamp next I think so cool that was fun uh, catch you guys next time thanks for watching cheers